Hello guys and welcome to my new video. So today I decided to do a Holy Paladin Grid 2 guide uh, based on my profile. The profile is going to be included in the description section. So show more and you click the links. It's going to be a pay spin. I did the same thing for Restoration Druids, but I realized that the people who are going to be watching the Holy Paladin video might not watch the Resto Druid one. So I'll include some of the repeating information, things like how to add debuffs, how to get Antorus debuffs to show up and things like that. So if you do play Resto Druid and a Holy Paladin, you probably just need to import the profile and that's it. You don't even need to watch the video. Uh, I'll be covering some of the frequently asked questions, things like how to move grid, why does grid not show me any of the cooldowns, um, and some of the issues with the fonts and textures that you might experience after you import my grid 2 profile. So uh, during this video, I'll be including some videos to just showcase what, the, what my grid 2 profile looks like on Holy Paladins. But first of all, how to import it. So just follow the link below, below the video, below the video, uh, to go to a paste bin. So if you don't know what paste bin is, it's just basically where I import my code. So there's a lot of stuff going on here. All you kind of need to go, all you need to do is kind of go at the bottom, control A and control C. So you uh, uh, copy all of the code. And then of course you need to have grid to add on itself. Like the add ons, the section that I have is grid 2, grid 2 options, right, debuffs, basically the default selection that you get with grid 2. Uh, then you go forward slash grid 2, uh, you go to general settings, you go to profiles. Now this is the, the interesting part, you go to advanced section, you go to advanced section and then you click import profiles. It might be worth import custom layouts as well, but import profiles. Uh, and after this you'll have this text and you control V, basically copy the you paste all of the code that you did in the paste bin into here and you click accept. Now you see, this is it. Technically, you can stop the video and start playing Holy Paladin now. That's it. This is my grid 2 profile for Holy Paladins. Um, it, has a, it has multiple different things added to it. Now, like I can't really showcase uh, the difference, but I have things like beacons, showing when I add the beacons. Um, I have things like light of dawn every time i light of dawn you see the the texture changes to light bluish just to showcase the amount of people that got hit by light of dawn uh, so that's relatively interesting and um, it if there are more people in the group it'll showcase the buffs the light of dawn adds as well so the default is beacons light of dawn you can actually go into grid 2 profile and go to indicators and you can kind of see what what i've added um, so I have Guiding Hand added, so I have the Deceiver's Grand Design Trinket added to showcase. It should showcase somewhere here when you actually use that trinket, it's really, really good. You see, I kind of have some of the rest of Druid stuff in there. This is all the Antorus debuffs that I've added that are really, really important for me. And I've added them here, so very matches debuffs, uh, Fulminating Pulse, Chill Blood, Healing debuff on uh, Coven of Shivara. These are really, really important ones and they'll show up here as really, really important ones. Uh, I have Necrotic Bursting, Grievous, really important for Mythic Plus. Uh, I have Tears Deliverance, if I actually, I can actually showcase it if I... I don't, I, I don't think I actually have the artifact ability yet, which is sad. But either way, Tears Deliverance will show up, which means you can heal them and get, gain mana back or reduced mana on those targets and things like that. Really important, Beacon of Virtue. Different debuffs, different debuffs again. Bestowed Fate. So if you do end up using Bestowed Fate, it will show up on the grid. Like, for example, I use it here. You see Bestowed Fate shows up here. But you can notice that there's no cooldown for it. You can notice that there's no cooldown for it. So this is the first frequently asked questions that are happening. So you need to have an add-on called Omni CC. Omni CC and Omni CC config. This add-on itself will add timers to everything that you do to anything that you have. So right now you see that my bestowed fate, five seconds cooldown or whatever is showing. So there you go. You got it. That's it. These are really lightweight add-ons. They don't add too much to your CPU, to your RAM or whatever. It should be fine. So now the most important part for most of the Holy Paladins is how do I get these Antorus debuffs to show up? So by default, it should be under statuses, debuffs, stand this, ray debuffs, and you'll probably see something like this. Make sure you have Legion selected. 
and then you go to debuff configuration you click legion here and then you select untowards the burning throne now you have all of the debuffs that untowards the burning throne has now by default for you you might see all of these selected if you don't want all of these to show up they're, they're going to show up in the middle of the grid if you don't, you don't if you don't want them to show up you just click on them and say enable disable whatever i don't want to see this see this i want this or whatever and if you actually want this debuff to show up like let's say for example let me see if i can find it uh, the corner of virus let's say you want chill blow to show up in the special section which is like really really prominent you can see it clearly you can actually either get the spell id or you can actually say copy to debuffs once you copy the debuffs you go to my indicators and you use the indicator no cooldown and then you look for a debuff called not chill blood you'll be looking for debuff called um it starts off with the boss name first but it's probably not showing up here because i already have it added you see it shows up with the because it shows the coven of shivaras so that's the way you do it if you actually link it from from the debuff section the chill blood that goes for every boss like if it's if it's agrimar i'll show up agrimar whatever debuff after that so now you know how to add the debuffs you have on Taurus debuffs added here it's all good now most of the people are telling me like i don't i still don't have these on Taurus debuffs what's going on and that's purely to do with your update your add-on update system so i use the twitch client previously known as the curse client it's been bought out and things like that and um, once you install it, you'll be able to update add-ons on the fly. It's really, really good. It's probably the number one tool that you should be using for add-on management. And the interesting part here, once you go to your add-ons, if you go and search for Grid 2, you'll find Grid 2 here. And you see that I use OR 809 Alpha version. And that is because if you right-click on Grid 2 and you go to Release Type and you select Alpha, this will download the Alpha version. And the Alpha version 100% has all the debuffs on Taurus. 100% so make sure that your release type is alpha now keep in mind disclaimers blah 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 there might be some buggy things happening because it is an alpha version it is not fully crazily tested now from my personal opinion there's nothing wrong with the alpha version i haven't run into any issues with the alpha version and it should be all fine so make sure right click release type alpha version and if you update your grid 2 using this you will 100 percent see under debuffs, under raid debuffs, under legion, and you'll see on Taurus the burning throne. And then you can mess around with every debuff that you want and any debuff that you want to add. And like I said, in my grid 2 profile, under no cooldowns, I'm using I'm I'm, I'm selecting cooldowns that are really, really important for a holy paladin for a healer in general. So you can add and remove these if you don't want these, but if you want easy ways to use the no cooldown indicators. Now, I'm not going to be really covering how to add specific debuffs. Like, if you want to add specific debuffs, you need to know the spell IDs. Like, for the chill blood and things like that. Like, if you enter chill blood here in the debuff section, you won't really see it. You need the ID number. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Keep that in mind. I use tell me when add-on to find this. Like, for example, I go to tell me when. If you know tell me when, tell me when is basically weak chorus 2. An easier version, at least for me. I go to tell me when. I go to... I create a dummy, a dummy icon that I never use. I just use it for spell lookup. And I, I go chill blood. I want to check out what chill blood looks like. So I see it here. Chill blood here. Dima applies a healing absorb. Perfect. I right click it and now I have a number. I control C, control V. Kind of uh, deal go. You can see here actually again shows up on my tell me when. I want this icon to never show up. Disable it. Disable it. This this icon is purely used for spell lookup for me. Purely just for spell lookup. So I go into grid 2. I go to debuffs. I, I enter the uh, ID of the name. Uh, ID of the spell. I don't have anything else. Just a number. Chill blood. Perfect. Create debuff. Done. Now you create a debuff. You go to no cooldowns. And now you look for the chill blood. Now, the way I added it, it should show up as here. Chill blood. If you add it from raid debuffs, like if you select any of the raid debuffs here and you say copy to debuffs, it'll show, it'll, the way it'll show up is the boss name, then the debuff. If you do it manually in the debuff section and you go to no coolness, it'll just show up as the name of the debuff. No boss name in front of it. Like you see, for example, chill blood here and you can add chill blood. So now, for example, I have chill blood. And the Covenant of Shabarash Chilbo, I have two debuffs showing up at the moment. You don't have to do that. This is just for the showcase. 
So now you have my grid to Holy Paladin profile. Now there's a couple more issues that you might experience. So let's go to um, grid two. You might experience it might not look exactly the way it looks like like right now, and that's purely to do with the um, with the frame textures with the fonts that I'm using. So to mess around with the frame textures, you go to help on the indicators. You go to help, and then you go to layout. And what I'm using is grid two flat. You can swap out to Blizzard, but it looks like terrible. I prefer grid two flat. It looks a lot better for me. Um, and if you want to mess around with the fonts, because the fonts do really change and impact the look of your grid two a lot, um, go to text down. Because on the text down, I'm using name. So on the text down, go to layouts again. So you can see I'm using a specific text called Hodge XCT. Hodge XCT. And you 100% will not have this unless you have an add on called. Let me swap to my character. Match shock. Unless you have an add on called XCT. And this is an add on uh, for Blizzard Combat Text. This is a specific add on for Blizzard Combat Text. You can see these things here my aura, aura of mercy ticking for a bit. Uh, this is the add-on XCT and XCT add-on has a specific font that I use for grid 2 because I like the way the match shocks shows up on my grid 2. So if you want to copy it exactly, you need to get this add-on. Um, so right now, this is basically an overview of my Holy Paladin uh, grid 2 profile. Like I mentioned before, I kind of do showcase how to add different debuffs if you... if if you find yourself uh, doing a boss and you're like, I need a new debuff, just follow the, just follow this guide. It shows you how to add specific debuffs and add it into something like, add it into the no cooldown section. If you want to add, if you want to mess around with it, go to layouts and then you can like disable cooldowns. I have cooldowns disabled because I don't want to showcase the numbers for those really, really important debuffs. I just want to know they're there. You can add animations. It looks a little bit better. Like... Like, for example, if I add an animation for my, not Guiding Hand, if I add an animation for my, not Tears Deliverance, for my Beacon of Virtue, let's say, for example, I add animation for my Beacon of Virtue. And then I go, well, I already have it. Let's showcase. You see, it kind of move. it kind of, it kind of does this thing where it goes up and down. So you can see clearly that it's being applied. So there's little Little tips about how to add it, how to do it. Oh, actually, before I forget, if you do get this thing, if you do get the grid 2 profile, a lot of people tell me how do I move it because they have a lot of issues with movement. So make sure that your frame is not locked. You go to layout and then you go to party or solo or by group and you click test and then you can move it anywhere you want. Let's say, for example, I want it here. And then I click test again and now it's moved. If I want to do party, I just move it anywhere here and I click party again. And... Um, Tip again, if you are doing Antorus High Command um, and you have issues with pod healing, just do this in raid group. By group uh, with pets. Sort it by group with pets. And now it's going to showcase your pets, like your warlock pets and things like that. But your pod heal, uh, people in the pods are going to be, you're going to be able to heal them. Really, really important for mythic and things like that. So this has been my video of the Grid 2 profile for Holy Paladins. It's just a Grid 2 profile for it. It's been updated for Antorus. I've showcased how to update the Grid 2 add-on in order to show the Antorus debuffs. Let me know how you feel about this. I know it's usually important to have the Antorus debuffs. Let me know how you feel about the video. Let me know how, how I could improve the Grid 2 profile. I'll try to keep it up to date as possible. I'll try to keep this up to date as possible. I'll try to get the Resto Jude one up to date as possible. And maybe Restoration Shaman one if there is enough people who want my resto shaman grid 2 profile now thank you guys for watching this video and i'll see you in my next guide